like I have to keep going, and if I don't, then I'll just let everyone shut up. He's coming. This is the first of many catastrophes you're doing. I have to go. I'm the only one. You're the only one that can work. Making everything worse. You're not. Hey, you're not. We can do this. Come on. Where to next? Can't stay here. I don't know, Jonah! What was that clue? Uh, the heart of the serpent, something. 
the heart of the serpent is in the cup, near the many stone faces. And what kind of cup are we talking about? Some kind of chalice? A chalice that's not very Mayan. Wait. It's not mine. The clue was left by a 17th century missionary, Andrea Lopez, a Jesuit. The serpent in the chalice is a symbol of St. John. We're looking for a Christian holy site. Like a church of San Juan? That's a pretty common name. It could be dozens. Not within trekking distance from Paititi. Come on, the road is this way. We'll get out of here, talk to some people. Okay. What would I do without you? Let's split up. I'll look for signs of Lopez. We'll ask around, see what we can find out. My friend Sara's an archaeologist. She works near here. You want to go see if she knows anything about your riddle? That would be great. All full up. Can't carry any more. <laughs> Hard work is good for the soul. The sect has been maintaining this mission through hard work for over 400 years. Angel de la Cruz and Trulos Serrano arrived here back then and immediately set to work. Their philosophy of labor being the only true way to get closer to God is one we still follow, even now. Be careful if you go out to the graveyard, miss. A witch lives there. She likes to turn people into frogs. I'll be sure to watch myself. One lady upset the witch, and then the witch made her disappear. You know, it seems like every few years, God throws a disaster this way. I can see that the earthquake caused a lot of damage. Nothing we can't fix with enough time. And materials. Unfortunately, one of those is in short supply. I can't quite explain it, but have you noticed how the world seems thinner here than in other places? Like, it's just a curtain drawn, and if you found a cord, you could pull it and see heaven it itself. There seems like a tangible connection between this life and the next here. Or maybe we're all already dead. Or maybe I need to get out of the sun for a little while. Now this is a fascinating concept. The Miracle Club. Come meet people that share your beliefs, devotion, and taste for adventure. Create lifelong memories as you travel the world together. It's a Christian singles group dedicated to visiting pilgrimage sites.
This is an official document issued recently by the Holy See. In consideration of this mission having been badly damaged by an unusually violent and entirely unexpected volcanic tremor, they sent requests to every Spanish-speaking diocese, asking them to consider sending missionaries to restore and rebuild this holy site. Full up. Can't carry any more. That's quite a bow you have. You must be a hunter. The mission could use a hunter. Ever since before the earthquake, we've been plagued by wolves. I can't let these children out of my sight for a second. Just the other day, I saw this one out on the road, running after a wolf. Can you believe that? He said he only wanted to play. <laughs> As though he expected the wolves to roll over and chase sticks. Some of those kids are so high-spirited. I need a little break. Don't tell the sisters. <laughs> I could use a little spirits myself some days, but this mission does not allow alcohol. So I have to settle for the few moments of quiet I can find. This document describes the founding of the mission. There were four solar eclipses in this region around that time, in 1521, 1538, 1539, and 1543. Spanish missionaries reported that during each one, a vision of John the Apostle appeared on this site. So in his honor, the mission of St. John was built here in 1544. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. Someone once said if you really want to learn about a town, you have to visit their graveyards. I don't know why. One is the same as the next. Some might be a little more orderly, with neat rows, or they're like this one, where it feels more natural and unplanned. These collars were used abroad the Nostromo, likely ferrying the captured indigenous people back to Spain to be sold as slaves. Thank you. 
This document outlines the goals and works of the Mission of St. John. In addition to their individual spiritual goals and their outreach programs, the people here are clearly passionate about contributing to the nearby communities. Education, literacy, healthcare, even donating a portion of the food they raise. Have you come to the mission seeking salvation or its secrets? I'm... I'm not sure. A little of both, maybe. Ah, to wait for life to unfold before you is a luxury of the young. I was like that once, drifting along. Is that how you came here? Huh? Oh, in a way. In a way. <laughs> Can I offer you a small piece of advice? Make a choice before it's made for you. Ah, enough of my meddling. Are you looking to trade? That's a good deal for both of us. I'm sure you will be satisfied. That's a good deal for both of us. Good deal. That's a good deal for both of us. Good deal. That's a good deal for both of us. I'm sure you will be satisfied. That's a good deal for both of us. I'm sure you will be satisfied. Good deal. That's a good deal for both of us. No deal. I'm sure you will be satisfied. That's a good deal for both of us. Good deal. Pleasure doing business with you, friend. This Spanish document is fascinating. It tells the story of several natural disasters which struck this area. A flood, a fire caused by lightning, and a severe volcanic tremor. In each instance, buildings on this site were badly damaged, requiring considerable rebuilding. I'm happy Jonah's alive. He makes friends so easily. I probably would have walked here to the mission, but Jonah, he just asked Abby for a ride and she said yes. I hope we're in the right place and we can find the box before Trinity. The earthquake hit last night at the oil facility and now there's a volcano. Is this where the next cataclysm will hit? We have to end this before this town ends up like Cozumel.
The ink is badly faded. It's difficult to make anything out. Savage. Outrageous. Betrayal. And this isn't parchment paper. It's thicker. Animal hide or... Human, maybe... Did you see that? It was a condor. Magnificent birds. Ah, uh, I must have missed it. Some people around here think they're a good omen, but they're just birds. People like to think good things will happen. And that's fine, as long as they don't put all their hopes in it.
Someone decided this depiction of Christ's death needed a little sprucing up.
several hundreds have renounced their pagan beliefs and turned to the teaching of Catholicism. Our work here is different. The heathens must learn the language and then the teachings. Most are not receptive, but only come looking for conversion to the true Lord from fear of what might happen to them if they do not. No matter, all paths lead to God's light. In the evenings I rest easily, comforted by the conviction we will save these poor lost souls. Excerpt from the journal of Beltran, Ordinius Predicatorum. I don't have enough space for that. 